All right. So my dogs are super, super excited because they're getting the rest of the gourmet chicken and rice that my husband made them. Look at this old lady pogo sticking. Sorry, our deck is really nasty because of the rain. Are you guys ready? Okay. Emma, this is Shadows. And this is, no. Okay. They don't share very well. Look at them chow down. It's a little warm, but I guess that they don't care. But thank you for all the well wishes. They are feeling much better. Look at them. Is it good? Is it good? They don't even want to pay attention to me right now. Okay, you're licking the plate. Shadow, Shadow, was it good? She's gonna eat the rest of Emma's. All right. Figured y'all wanted to see the doggies. We might try and go for a walk because it's nice even though it's windy. So maybe I'll do some recording on the walk. Shadow had a massaging shower yesterday. So you can see she's like super fluffy. Look at her tail. Her tail's gorgeous. So she's super fluffy right now. <laughs> she's still licking the plate. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. Look at this amazing breakfast that my husband just made bacon and eggs and homemade fried potatoes with bacon and cheese, French toast homemade. He warmed up the teapot for me so I can have some tea in my Ray Dunn and some orange juice. Could get used to this, it looks delicious. All right, it's a beautiful day. It is a Sunday and we are Taking the dogs for a walk and now I gotta learn to keep up because Emma freaks out if she's not up with Shadow. <laughs> you hear her freaking out? <laughs> All right, we gotta catch up. So I'll try to do some recording along the way. Do you hear this dog? <laughs> she's so freaking excited, but she does not like to be behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty breezy out right now. I don't know if you can see all the trees blowing in the wind. It's beautiful out, but just a little breezy. And you can hear Emma. She, we're still way behind. You can see my husband and Shadow all the way up there. And then there's us back here and she hates it. I have not recorded much because Emma will not stop making her whining gremlin noises. But look at those trees. It's just so pretty through the neighborhood. And just with the wind blowing. All these big trees just blowing in the wind. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This part of our neighborhood is really pretty and really quiet. Look at this cool tree. It's like really cool. And now you can see how far behind we are because here's Emma. There's my husband. Oops. I can't zoom and walk at the same time. Ah, it's all shaky. And here we are, little grumnone noises and wines. I'm back. Uh, this is floss tube number 30. Um, today is Sunday, March 29th. My name is Becca 
This is my channel, Sam Bree Stitches, and you can also find me on Instagram under Sam Bree Stitches as well. Um, I just wanted to welcome everybody. I'm pretty tired and out of breath. It's been an interesting morning. I just woke up super, I don't know, emotional and a bit sad. Um, and I almost didn't record the video, but then my husband made me that amazing breakfast and the girls too, but I just recorded mine um, that you saw in the video. Um, then I received a message um, from another fellow floss tuber that I had won a, an amazing giveaway, um, which cheered me up. And then my husband drugged me on a walk that lasted a little over a mile. It's our usual route, um, but this time we took both dogs. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really tired, but my day is getting better. Um, so I decided to do a floss tube because doing a video, making a video, um, just cheers me up. It helps me connect with all of you. Um, so yeah, so here I am making a video. Um, I wanted to thank all the new subscribers and the new viewers. I appreciate all of you and I'm so glad that you're enjoying the daily videos. Um, I may change things up a little bit and I'll talk about that towards the end. Um, and of course my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. I say this all the time. I appreciate you. I love all your comments, your support. Um, it just, it just makes me feel so loved and happy just to be a part of this community and that my videos, I, I get daily messages from people just thanking me for these videos and it means a lot to get those because it helps. It's been helping other people, you know, keep company and happy um, and feel less alone, but it's also helping me as well. So thank you guys for sending me those messages um, just to let me know that, that what I'm doing is, you know, is something that y'all enjoy and that I'm actually helping people because that's the whole point of these videos. So um, you guys are just all amazing. All of my viewers and subscribers, y'all are just, in the bottom of my heart part of my family okay i might have to move because you can see like sun rays coming in a little bit um so i'm gonna switch up the angle just a little bit so that um y'all can see the fabric so be right back okay i think this is a little bit better um you've got the pretty scenery in the back it's almost i think it was close to 60 degrees uh, right now and it's two in the afternoon here in the pacific northwest so um, it's pretty nice. The breeze is enjoyable. Hopefully it's not too loud on camera. Um, and I'm still out of breath. Oh my gosh. Um, I wanted to, uh, again, ask for some positive thoughts. And um, if you're the praying type, some prayers um, for my sweet friend, Shelly. She is Proverbs 31:22 on Floss Tube. Um, I just watched her newest Floss Tube this morning. Um, and she had talked about her daughter who is sick um, and ha is being tested for the coronavirus. Um, so they're awaiting results and I know it's nerve wracking for her um, and it was very brave of her to, to speak about it in her video. Um, she also showed a picture too of her beautiful daughter. So, so if y'all could just send her positive vibes, go watch her latest video um, and leave her a comment just letting her know that you're thinking of her and that um, you hope for a, a negative result from the coronavirus uh, for her daughter. Um, so I'm sending my love to you and your family, Shelly. Um, and Shelly's actually the one that I had won the giveaway from, which was kind of cool. So I won a Hobby Lobby gift card. Um, so when Hobby Lobby opens back up, uh, my friend Jennifer and I are gonna do a girls day. We're like chomping at the bit to just go out and go shopping and just can't wait for all of this to be over so I'm looking forward to that um, as well so um, let's see I've talked about pretty much everything I do have a few more freebies to show you from the be well and stitch um, so I will do that um, at the end so get your pen and paper ready um, I don't remember how many there are like 15 to 19 I think new ones so hopefully they're new um, there's 120 to 30 something freebies that I've been trying to show everybody over the past few videos. So, um, hopefully these are new ones. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, so I wanted to run through my 14 count. So this one's not going to be as 
as great as my um, 18 count and 16 count parades. Um, these 14 counts are mostly fabric flare wonkies, which I explained in the last video. Um, those are just random cuts of fabric that uh, Cindy Sorley from Stitchery Express on Facebook um, would offer up and then we would just meet please it. Um, so it went a little crazy. 14 count is what I'm letting my daughter use. My 20 year old uh, also stitches and so I just let her pull from the 14 count since she's a newer stitcher. Um, so most of these are just her. It's a free for all for her. Um, the one I wanted to show you was uh, my only bee stitch me in 14 count. Um, and it's this, it's this Gaia in 14 count, but it's opalescent. So hopefully that's coming through. It's beautiful, beautiful fabric. I love this one. So that's the opalescent. Um, this one I think I got through Fabric Flare. It's just a white opalescent. I don't even think, I don't know if you can see the opalescent shininess in it. It's beautiful. Um, I use this for like, I was using this for Christmas type pieces and stuff like that. So, um, and then this one was just a random custom made one. Somebody gifted me a long time ago um, because I loved it and it looks like a flag. So somebody sent me this because I just told them how much I loved <clears throat> their, their hand eye job that they did. So, so that one's really pretty. Oh, people are out walking their dogs. Um, this one is a tiny little piece. It says murky eight by 12. So I don't know if this is a, a picture this plus fabric. I'm going to pause while they walk by. Okay. They've walked by. It was the same teenagers um, from yesterday. So they're pretty loud. Um, these next fabrics, the 14 counts, I am not 100% sure who I got this from. I want to say it's to die for fabrics. Um, I will try and look it up. She doesn't have it labeled. She has the names on there, but these are super tiny pieces. Um, this one's called Mermaid's Dream. I just can't believe how tiny these pieces are. Um, <clears throat> this one is ice blue. Oh, somebody's dog is freaking out. They were walking a German Shepherd, those teenagers. So um, this is called pumpkin spice. It's a, I really like that one. I wish I did it on a bigger piece. Uh, this is called fallen leaf. got my name on it. Um, this is called <clears throat> Pink Adobe. I do not know what this is called, but it's a really pretty blue, teal blue. Neighbor kids are out on their big old trampoline again. I just think it's so cool that it's been like three or four weeks now. I've lost track and they still love their trampoline. So just a random piece of a neutral, like cappuccino, tannish, brownish color. It's really pretty. These are all like little scraps, so. Like ornament sized pieces that don't have any names on them. <laughs> and this is a bigger piece. I'm pretty sure this is also from, if it is to die for fabrics, it's a nice yellow pastel yellow piece. So that's really pretty with some white swatches in them. So those are like the random pieces. Now all of these are going to be fabric flare, um, which are in these baggies. So I probably, I don't know if I'm going to pull out each one of these, but this is ice fractal, but it's like a purple. And uh, this one I do need to pull out so that you can see the full of thing. Look at that ice fractal. That's beautiful. It just takes so long to pull these out of the baggies and then put them back in. Um, but a lot of these you do actually need to see the full colors so that if you want to order them, you can contact Cindy at Stitchery Express. Um, and this is a 14 count purple peacock. Oh, it's a weird strip. 
Oh, no, nice. It's like a band. Oh, that would be cool for like a little band sampler, a solid black color or something like that. I told you these are wonky pieces and it got pretty brutal in there. So we all just kind of like, you know, went crazy claiming these pieces. I don't even know why I have that. Um, this is a blizzard, opalescent blizzard. Really pretty winter fabric. Uh, this one is Dove's Cry. Is this another wonky size? Some of these haven't even opened. Really pretty pinks and purples. <laughs> and this is just a cappuccino, which I think I showed the other day. The cappuccinos are really pretty neutral that they offer, um, which is nice. This is called Lavender Sunset. So it's got some grays and some pink in it. <laughs> Yelling, open your eyes over there. They're so cute. Um, this is Sweet Baby James, a big piece. It's just like a light blue with white splotches they're fighting <laughs> um this is another unicorn this is 14 count unicorn you the crows it usually is really peaceful if the kids are inside i mean it's not so bad that they're you know playing but purple haze just a little strip of it I've used some of these, so there's like little pieces left. Cotton candy. Another strip. And like I mentioned yesterday, any of these that you see that you like, um, you can order them in any counter, any size. Um, as far as I know. Um, this is a 14 count brick wall. I guess I'm not gonna open the whole thing. Bricks. So, pretty cool. Eh. Fighting with this to get back in the bag. Um, this one is, I don't think it has a name. I think I showed this in the other video, but it, in like the 16 count, it's orange and blue. So I might've shown in yesterday's video. This is a peach. Oh, this one's in a different baggie, of course. This is called watermelon. <sighs> this stuff just does not want to go back into the bags once it's out. Um, this is tiny red opalescent, opalescent ah, snowflakes. Very pretty for a Christmas piece. Here comes the wind again. Um, I think I showed this yesterday. I'm not sure. This is opalescent blue snowflakes. I'm not gonna open up the whole thing. Um, they offer in different colors, green, red, blue, neutral, um, if you want snowflakes. Um, this is a piece of sun-kissed, really pretty orange and yellow. Ah, 
go back in the bag. Um, they just call this one Mix Up. This one's a little bit stiffer than the other ones. It's a lot stiffer feeling, so it's just like a mix up of dyed randomness. Motorcycle. That's a nice motorcycle, too. Um, Peach Whisper, I showed yesterday. Pumpkin Spice. This is an opalescent pumpkin spice. That's really pretty. I'd like that in a uh, in an 18 count, actually. I might put that aside to order. Um, cauldron Brew. So it's a nice brown. Cauldron Halloween fall pieces. Be perfect. This is really pretty. Um, I think this is just called Blooms. Um, I ordered a giant piece of this. Oops, windy. This is an opalescent and it's got flowers all over it. It's really, really pretty. It doesn't have the name on there though. Um, this is just called Bout Time Blues. It's just more like a sky type of color. Magic Mist, I think I showed in the 16 count cut. This is Magic Mist with gold flecks in it. It's really pretty. Fighting with the bags. Nah, I don't have patience for this today. <laughs> Blue Whisper, I, I want to say I thought I showed this too. It's like a really, really, really light blue. It's really pretty. Um, oops, I got two. This is Atlantic Gold. So it's Atlantic Blue with gold flecks in it. So it's a really, really pretty blue. Um, and then I think I showed this in another count too. This is just the natural chicken wire. Love them for farm pieces, of course. I'm not gonna open this, but it's a full cut. Um, this is Musical Notes. Uh, my oldest daughter was in band pretty much all of her school career um, and she started college um, with a music scholarship playing French horn, um, trumpet, flute, um, so I bought it for that and then my younger daughter um, is choir. She started out in band in school and then fell in love with choir so music notes are perfect for both. Um, this is called White Lace on Lilac. Is that not pretty? Like that lilac color. I might want a bigger piece than that. Itchy. Um, I think this is Paisley. They have a Paisley one. It just is randomly outside the thing. Of course, we saw candy corns yesterday. Um, I like this. I am not a fan of spiders at all, but this is spiders with gold flecks. Oh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> um, this I don't need to take out. It is peppermint stripe, just red and white peppermint stripe. Um, this is another ice fractal, purple. Uh, this I will pull out because it is uh, Autumn Maples, beautiful fall piece. Um, 
Um, oh, this one's another pretty Christmas piece. Um, I think they just call it Holly. Yep, it's just called Holly. Beautiful Christmas piece. Let me take a sip really quick of my water. So thirsty from the walk. Um, this is Lavender Whisper. <laughs> Sorry. I have a lot of wonkies. Uh, this is just a dusty lavender. I'm not going to really take it out. It's just a really pretty lavender color. Um, this I will take out. It is called Splatberry. I was really into like the tie-dye stuff when um, 14 count I did like a few years ago. I would always stitch on 14 count. Um, and then I discovered readers. I actually need real glasses, but yeah. Uh, this is Caribbean blue. Let me just pop it up out of the plastic so that you can see it better. Caribbean blue. This is called Maple Bacon. I love this one too. Um, this is just another latte. It's like a perfect neutral. All right, I already showed the Paisley. Oh, this is Bats, printed Bats. Um, and then these were part of the um, Fabric of the Month Club that I was part of. This one is Beautiful Blizzard Fabric Party. I think she sells it separately now. Or I don't know how it goes. Maybe like this. But it's got chunks of silver in it. Or on it. Which you can stitch through. But like that silver like silver paint but you can stitch through it um this one is i think just a i think this is called blizzard it's not printed on there but it's a neutral that looks like snow the wind is not helping me today so it's a neutral that looks like snow in the shade it's kind of chilly and then some this is Neutral Snowflakes, opalescent. It says it's for Shepherd's Bush, but I don't know for what pattern, but I just like snowflakes. I got more. I think this is opalescent. This is the opalescent blue with snowflakes. Um, this is another part of the party that I cut up. I used two of them. It was a four piece medley um, Halloween medley. So this is what's left is this one. And then this one. And I must've used the other two for something. I don't know. And then the other fabric party, this was feathers on fairy dust. Woo. This would be cute for like a peacock, just beautiful feathers. And then this, also has some of the silver painted on there so um the other ones are just like scraps that i have left this is a gingham that they offer that i've used some of um i showed you wood yesterday so there's some more 14 count wood oh this one this one I used to stitch Lizzie Kate's uh, You Are My Sunshine on. Um, so there's not much left of it, but it's sunflowers. So that's really pretty. And I want to say that that's it. This one is the snowman sky, but I cut it up pretty much. But 
So it's just like a really pretty, it was lighter towards the bottom. So that's why it's all cut up. So I used the lighter part of it. Um, red polka dots. I know I think I showed neutral that I want to do for the sheep virtues. Um, and then this is called colored dust. And the rest are just scraps that I don't know the names of. So I'm not going to show them, but this is colored dust. So that's basically it for my 14 count. I, I have a lot of just the wonky cuts. Um, and then of course I have a lot of the store-bought 14 cut count pieces as well. So um, yeah, so that was mostly fabric flare and um, I'm more of a 16, 18 count, oops, sorry for shaking the camera, uh, more of a 14 or more of a 16 and 18 count stitcher. The 14 count will be for my daughter. So that was that. Uh, let me get into the um, album really quick for the new Be Well and Stitch patterns that I have. So get a pen and paper ready. Um, the first one is from Artist Designs. And then there's one from Stitching Vicky. And then this says, um, yesterday is gone, tomorrow has not yet come. We have only today, let us begin, Mother Teresa. And how you can get this, I screenshot her whole post. Um, the chart is available for free on her blog. Her link is in her Instagram profile. Um, so Stitching Vicky is what you want to uh, check out on Instagram. Y'all are going to love this one keep getting stuff blown onto it. This is from Annie Funny XX. Look at that one. Look at that porg. He's so cute. Um, and then for her, um, I think you can get it from funnystitchxx.etsy.com. Oh no, this one is just, you can screenshot it off of her Instagram, but she does have an Etsy um, account. So that is the actual pattern. Uh, Cricklewood Crossing. That one's really cute. And that says, play in the warmth of the sun, be well. Um, you can leave a comment on Cricklewood Crossing's Instagram or email them for the free pattern. Yes, I touched my face. I washed my hands after we got back from the walk. I'm so glad that none of my viewers have reamed me for touching my face. I watched some of the other floss tubers and they're like, everybody's leaving comments, stop touching your face. Um, I wash my hands and I don't really go anywhere. Um, the drawn thread, be well. I think you can just go to their website. Um, kaleidoscope underscore UA it has a beautiful flower basket. Uh, Mira Miru makes, I want to say, um, is what this is called. And it says, Have a hearty breakfast at home. So there's that one. Uh, Tony Spyrider, I want to say. It is well with my soul. Keen stitch, be well, stay home and stitch. Rock underscore of underscore flusters. COVID-19 quarantine be like happy Thurs, Wednesday, July, Uary. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, cacti underscore cross underscore stitch. Shishuda underscore cross underscore stitch. Keep calm and wash your hands. Molly Johansson. This is 
This one I saw stitched up in one of the groups. It's a SpongeBob reference and I loved it. She changed up some of the colors to match the Spon SpongeBob theme, but it <laughs> makes me smile. Um, and then this, I got this off of Michelle Bendy's. Um, some of these are still off of her Instagrams. Uh, Barbara Anna Designs released another freebie that y'all need to run and get. You can go to Barbara Anna's Instagram. She has a link tree. Um, and then this one I think is the bottom choice, something light. Look at this one that she gave us for free. Look at that. That's beautiful. So run and go get that. I want to see those stitched up. Um, that is it for the freebies. So a few more freebies that we were able to get everybody. I'm glad everybody's enjoying uh, being able to see all of them throughout some of the videos um, that I've done. I think we're at 130 maybe, something like that. I didn't count. I have them in different albums so that I know like album one and then that was album five. So I've done five albums, so five different videos have all of the freebies in them. So, so those were the freebies. Um, just wanted to remind everybody that tomorrow night is the virtual Monday meetup. Um, I'll be hosting it through Zoom with uh, my fellow Kitsap cross stitchers. I sure miss them so much, but it's nice to at least see their faces and interact via Zoom. But man, I miss our meetups in person so much. I just want this all to get back to normal. Um, so if you're interested, please just go join the, uh, our Kitsap Facebook group. Um, the link is down below. I will be posting an invite in there and then I'll still private message some of the people that are on my list that haven't joined the Facebook group yet. Um, but starting for next week, it'll be easier if people are just part of the Facebook group. Um, cause I will be doing this, um, until all of our lockdowns are all over and we're able to meet back up in person. I was thinking that maybe if people still wanted to join us Monday evening, um, I'm getting a new cellular iPad, a new iPad Pro, I'm so excited. Um, and um, it's gonna be cellular. So I was thinking I could still zoom people in to our Kits app meetup when we start me meeting back up at Michael's. So that's a possibility um, if anybody's interested in continuing to join with us. Um, we would love to have you. So it's something I was thinking about. Um, so for my videos, I got a couple suggestions. Um, I do have a piece that I need to FFO. Um, I'm going stir crazy because I miss shopping. I miss my goodwill. I'm, I'm like slowly running out of pieces that I could use to finish things that I'm stitching on, if that makes sense. I just, I need, I need my shopping. I know it's first world problems. I get it. Um, but, um, so I was thinking of doing a video, um, of me finishing. I need to clean up my craft area big time. I will, I'll be completely honest. I will record my crafty area, uh, prior to organizing it and cleaning up because let me tell you, these three weeks that I've been at home, it's just, I've destroyed it like big time. Um, so I wouldn't mind doing that. If somebody wants to see it, it would be a sticky board finish. Um, I still need to find a finishing piece for it. I may just have to settle with, with something that I have and change it up later when I'm able to go uh, shopping. Um, so I was thinking of doing that. I'm going to try to convince my husband to do the DIY dollar store mug rack um, hopefully today, we'll see if we get to it. Um, so I'll record that, but for future, so my normal weekly, uh, videos are every Wednesday when I do like my whip updates, um, and go through all of those. So this Wednesday, I think will be my last weekly update until things go back to normal. Um, I'll continue to do daily videos, but what I think I'm going to do is take a page out of off the grid needle arts, um, where she, Caroline just... Um, does daily videos and shows you what she's been working on, you know, the day before. So I think um, starting Thursday, I'll just show you what I worked on Wednesday and so on and so forth. Um, and if I have, you know, fully finished pieces, I'll just show them on whatever day instead of, you know, waiting until Wednesday 
Um, but that way I still have stuff to come on and visit and talk to you guys about. Um, and we'll see about still going on, you know, walks and, and taking the pictures and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the walk. I didn't record as much because Emma was just making so many whiny gremlin noises. Um, but I did take quite a few pictures. So um, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough. I typically think that these are going to be shorter videos and then they turn out to be longer videos. So hopefully you guys don't mind as much. Um, and anyways, if you have any questions, I'm so happy that people have been reaching out to me on Instagram and, and leaving comments. I've answered all the comments. I, I love doing that. So um, just reach out to me. Um, and again, I just appreciate all of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Um, once I hit the thousand, I've got some really good giveaways to do um, for y'all. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyways, until tomorrow, happy stitching everybody.